Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. And today we're going to try to modify the ship which we bought in the last episode. And today's just going to be a ship building episode. So yeah, I don't think there's going to be much action. But uh, maybe if there's enough time, we will go and do some mining and see how this thing works out. Because this is a mining ship, you know, that's that's the whole idea, whole reason why we bought it. So I did mess around a little, whoops. Let's mess around a little with the controls whatnot, just to make it a little bit more flyable, uh, for my taste, though. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, so if you wanted to design your own ship, or like maybe modify it without people interrupting you, easy, super, super easy. Uh, see that? Design your own ship. You go, we are, we are going to go over there. So I've, I've been to the market just now, and I bought myself a couple of crates. Two box thruster engines with the parts, or the parts of a uh, two box thrusters, and uh, yeah, we will see what we can do. So let's go over there and uh, start designing. You know, still a little bit too fast for me to be honest. Yeah, I, I think I might tone it down a bit more, but still, it's fine. Let's go ahead and just you know tap lightly on the. Uh, the thing, the thing, and I'm gonna come around because there's a ship there that's kind of blocking the way, so I'm coming around the back, and uh, yeah, should be super easy. And if you guys uh, soon, I will show you all how to get to a asteroid field at some at some point. Just remember this place um, with the uh, 369 open slots over here with that tower. I think it does have a yeah, it's got a big neon sign or some sort of sign over there and i just remember that if you want to follow the instructions on how to get to an asteroid field quite easy without any uh gps or anything took me some time to learn but um no what am i doing goodness yeah no the, the these controls are gonna get changed up again once more, up and down is not so bad, but left to right and roll and whatnot is quite a mission. It's, it's a very, very sensitive. All right, so we, we are going to come in here. And these force fields allow us to design and all those things. You can come down and there is screens at the bottom, which you can use to just spawn in your ship. But we're here and we are now in a private private instance nobody can disturb us as we can see there is somebody to the left of us uh but we can't see their ship we cannot see their ship or anything although we can hear firing which is fine all right let's get out of here and there's somebody just flying around the whole time with uh their little ship probably having fun have fun buddy uh, anyway, so uh, first things first, what we're going to do is let's see if we cannot attach some boxes here at the top. It is somewhat of a process, but it's not too bad. And let's go ahead, grab one box, you know, pull it out. We can hit E on it. And then we can use our mouse wheel to zoom, zoom it in, zoom it out, or push it back, push it and bring it forward. So we can do this. And also, as if you can see, like... It's not really, we cannot really fit it in. This is a bit more fine tuning, but what we can do is press the C button on our keyboard and it's going into snap mode. And then we just press E, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, let's do that again. To show you, I'm clicking and dragging to the outside of the screen, which will spawn it, close our inventory. And what I like to do sometimes is just to get behind the uh, item, which we want to put in. And just, uh, you know, there we go. Just want to make sure I'm behind it. And then I just press E. I don't hold E or anything. Now we can move around, zoom in out with mouse wheel. And then try to get it to fit in here. Like so. And then I just hit E again. Good, good. Now let's grab our bolt tool. And you can go around and wherever you see these little circles, go ahead and manually place it down. But there is a little trick, which is called the auto bolting. I'll show you guys in a second. Also, remember to use 
this little tool, which is the analyzing tool, or what's it called? Uh, durability test. So if you just um, right left click on the ship, it brings this up. There is a warp class of 1.02. As long as it is above one, it's good to go. Um, and you can use this to find errors. I think green is good. And anything other than that is a little bit bad. So yeah, the next thing we're going to do is click again. Right click and then it will show us the stress. Stress. Yeah, the stress. The stress structure. Um, which uh, like engines, thrusters, they push forward. So that means the beams they are attached to will get a lot of stress. So what you want to do is try to get the beams, like as many beams as possible and split them off. So the stress stress is shared. Damn it, I cannot say stress today. Uh, maybe I'm stressing too much. <laughs> Here we go. Just want to switch this off. And now, let's go ahead and bolt this guy down. So the trick I was talking to you guys about is I hold in the lift button. And then we can hear the whacking going on in the background. Whack, 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 whack the whole time. And what it's doing it is bolting down where it can to the ship. And also remember to do this with the other crates as well. Um, adjacent to it, if you buy a ship like this and you put it on a new crate, make sure to go ahead and just its neighboring um uh yeah it's neighboring crate and things so yeah let's go ahead and do this one so this might be uh quite a long task because we gotta do the top just make sure yeah top and bottom of the ship and yeah, let's grab another one you can have a tool in your hand and still pick it up and push it where it needs to be get in there like so uh well you know what we can do no get get in there there we go there we go that and i hope i bought enough crates uh will, will that fit oh oh i think i made a boo-boo with no these aren't really aligned yeah i gotta check my placement so here's the other function we can do um we can go ahead and unbolt by holding in right click so the auto bolting tool can auto bolt into place and out of place here we go and i'm getting a durability errors because this guy is not attached and that one's also not attached so there is a durability so yeah there we go just move it up go ahead and do this one same thing pick it up move it uh this one move it this one move it and that's fine let's go ahead and grab the next one uh inventory there we go grab that oh there we go it snaps in place and this ship is perfectly designed i gotta admit perfectly designed for this so you can just go ahead and uh, just slap on the crates at the top and at the bottom we will have quite a few crates ready to rock and roll. Uh, I feel like I feel like I didn't buy enough crates though. Yeah, I think that that's gonna be the main concern today. And also, what I like to do is not aim at the uh, ship. What I do is I look away and drag my item out because I had the issue. I think if you guys remember in the last episode, I did talk about how i modified our laborer thanks to kenato the um, company ceo damn it let go the ceo i followed his instructions in on how to modify the laborer into a a little bit of a better ship and that kind of caused all kinds of headaches all kinds of headaches and the one headache i had was i had to use the yolo stack um, stacker or something you place in multiple YOLO thingies and uh, I took it out of my inventory tried to place it in the world and uh, couldn't find it it was missing so I had to move my my ship oh my goodness I have to bolt these guys down All right, welcome back. So I've gone and added the top row and bottom row of 
crates to the ship and um i had some issues like um yeah so when i placed these crates down this last one didn't want to fit well it did fit but it wouldn't have been bolted to this um crate over here and correctly bolt to this crate over here i didn't bolt it down it just didn't want to place correctly so i went uh, or i took it out or put it back into my inventory and i kept looking and looking and looking like what could be the issue and between i think it was between these two or these two i think it was these two there was right here see how these two crates are like there's no space between them like they are smushed together tightly there was actually a small gap i could see through very 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 small it's not i don't think it's supposed to be there that small increment but it it, it was it was there and that caused that this one this crate to be a small like one millimeter to the left and this one would not fit correctly in so that that i kind of fixed but when i took out this crate and this crate to reorientate re them correctly or not re reorient um position them correctly what happened was i heard snapping sounds when I mean, those snapping sounds when you hear them you know what that means those are cables breaking because uh if i would have gone and unbolted this thruster over here and i take it out you will hear the cables the, on the back of it snap away like it would like uh duct tape like i would duct tape tear away or something under a lot of stress so i heard that i heard the sound but i uh, went out for a quick test flight and everything seems to be still working correctly i think i i i'm not too sure i don't know if any of these thrusters will not be working anymore or the the next two we're gonna add gonna work anymore but as far as i can tell uh, if we do this, the warp class is still the same as before we added these crates on the top. So, yeah, well, actually, I should have done this to check out what its uh, thing is. The warp class. But uh, apparently, it is still it's still the same all around. And I did check out, like, these. Like, uh, yeah, these are, like, complaining. Those and those. I don't know how to fix this unless I probably have to bolt them properly down somehow you know maybe a bolt into there bolt into there bolt down there bolt down there you know bolt them as good as possible same here i don't know there's like the fall of a uh, fall, fail if collision occurs like if some if we collide this part will probably tear off same with this so I think the only way I can fix it is if I bolt it directly to a beam or something. Most of these pieces we see over here, these nice, uh, I don't know, covers and these little fins and whatnot, they are decorative. They are not really that strong. So if we take a look at the stress levels, now we can see that these are under stress a lot. Um, usually it was just up until here. Now we can see the stress is being pushed. Uh, there is a, the, the, the center beams over there. So this ship exists actually over one center beam, not one beam, but like a flat beam. Usually you would have like a skeleton, like ribs and things for your ship. This one just has a spine going through it. And then obviously there at the front and here at the back. So these would be under a lot of stress. Those are fine because the stress are being um, mitigated or um, diverted and shared among the beams but then all that stress comes back to the centerpiece the center spine so i wouldn't say it's a bad design i wouldn't just like i wouldn't take a lot of chances with it but anyways speaking of taking chances let's go ahead and do the uh the box thruster so what you need is a thruster body a combustion chamber and a nozzle plus you're going to need i bought an extra crate for by accident Plus, you're going to need an electricity converter and a gas converter. So, yeah. What we're going to do is just look this way. And what I'd like to do is just do this. All right. So, here's the body. All right. And you can see over here is a hard point. Over here is a hard point. 
and the gas and electric converters go into here the purple and the blue um, here I can see clearly blue and the purple but if it was in sunlight I would not like if the light would come in I would not be able to see that and then this side it would be nothing um, but yeah what we can do is like I said what I like to do is grab this go around to the top and then try to stick it onto there and if I move my mouse a little there we go I think that should be centered correctly we can check uh, oh my goodness let's put on our light uh, we cannot really see it because this plate's in the way hmm you know what we can do it's this pick it up and let it go uh, yeah see it was off by a little and if we come down here what I'd like to do is just center this and then come up okay so it was centered this way correctly but not this way so we need to so if we say this is the center all right okay grab it move it like so and then down I'm pressing control just to go down come on dude Snap! Snap, I say. Yeah, there we go. Actually, look at that. So the guy who made the ship actually planned out for this. That is really, really, really good. To be honest, really good. That's that's some good designing right there. Okay. Next is much easier. I like to start with the body, get it aligned and plopped on before continuing with the rest of this stuff. So next is going to be the combustion chamber. Uh, there we go. And I like to grab it at this end. Come down here. Come on. Get in there. Don't be afraid. And it's in. There we go. So I, what uh, my issue was the converters, which was on the combustion chamber, was actually on the other side. That's why it did not fit. And now this is my issue. The sun is, sun is shining directly on these, and I'm having a hard time to distinguish these two. But I think these little lips will tell you. See, this one is on the sides. This one is on the top and bottom. So the next thing, what we need to do is grab one of these. And we can see that I do slide in. So these one are on the sides. So we can just grab this and press Y. No, not Y. Oh, well, looks like it. Oh yeah, that was those are the sides. Those are the top and bottom ones. Oh yeah. So let's grab one of these. Do this. Get in there. Good stuff. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to need a, the nozzle. I'm going to grab it and turn it uh, Y. There we go. Actually, let's turn it this way. Much easier. Push it away. Come around the back end. And there we go. Snaps right into place. Now what you need to do is grab your bolt tool and let it bolt down where it needs to. I like to bolt here and here. I don't know if they will change this or not. If it's these won't fall out as far as I understand, but I'd just like to, you know, just for a little bit of insurance purposes. And I kind of want to get to the hard point, but I think a hard point is fine. We shouldn't have any issues. Uh, best way to check is with this dude. And 1.02. I think that was still the correct one. All right, we're back. Man, I spent, I think, about half an hour trying to figure out what was the issue. And uh, yeah, uh, let me just go ahead and close those doors. Uh, boop. There we go. Okay, so um, I finally got these two thrusters on. And what I did was I went and remove the panels that was around the hard point on both of these and then i stuck the thruster on and i could 
then I could get to the hard point and I bolted it down and then I could I was also able to bolt down the thruster in it itself so then what I did was I did a bit of a test I think I, I should not have closed that if I want to show you guys real quick uh, come on Boop. there we go so in here just okay so this uh, angle thruster I could see it just about here when I press U, I'm looking at this tri This is this I think is is its name, and this is the fuel it has. Uh, three triple seven. Okay, if we go sit in our chair over here, and we look. Where's fuel? Uh, doesn't. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't show here. But anyways, so three triple seven was on that one tri thruster and I think the rest man somebody somebody has money to shoot um but yeah assuming all of these are exactly the same if I look at this thruster uh thrust state three triple seven all right and this one same thing so I'm thinking this is correct I think it's correct I also went around and um, looked at all the points that was of interest. Uh, these ones, I cannot really do anything because there isn't really a beam that goes... And when I talk about a beam, there's the skeleton, the frame. Behind the armor plating. Uh, this is, uh, I think the frame goes around here. From this side to this side. And this smaller beam, this decorative... Uh, pole i could actually say is nowhere close to a actual beam okay here is a beam but i cannot really reach it unfortunately so this will always be complaining although i don't think it is too bad it's not something to stress about i've got this weird thing going on i don't know what this is um but it's just collision issues so, and it's 99% sturdy, so yeah, and I brought the warp class up from 1.06 to 1.2. Uh, as long as it is above 1, then it, we should be able to fly. So, yeah, let's go ahead and test this uh, the uh, thing out. So, we got all of our boxes in, our crates. We got our two new thrusters. And uh, there's only one thing to do, you know. Close the service hatches. And yeah, I, I didn't even know there was a button there. I just saw it like right there i think it says identity it reveals our identity to the rest of the world so uh, things are done closed we can turn yes nothing sounds like it is shaking off all right uh, okay up down this is what you need to test before flying out okay Everything feels fine and dandy. Roll. All right. And now for the main feature. Just trying to reorientate myself. Okay. And just, just small increments. Small thrust. All right. We're going. We're going. We're outside. We're going outside. Yes. This is fine. Oh, oh. We're having issues. Uh, no. That was just me rolling. That was just me rolling. I thought like, oh no, we're having issues. No, it's not really. We're just rolling. Okay, let's turn. Okay, everything looks to be nominal. Normal, I should say. Alright, so let's slow down. I don't know how to activate the tether. There's something like a tether that kind of keeps you on your seat. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, activate our boots. Uh, no. uh, press F. And then we're just going to fire a little bit more. Now we get out of the seat. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's just that. 
and we can see there's a red stripe there yeah, that means we we're firing and there's a second red stripe yeah those two are connected we've done it guys guys we've done it yeah just trying to navigate slowly but yeah now we have extra oomph but it's gonna take extra uh, fuel now we're gonna use a little bit of extra fuel but i think it is good i say we have to go and uh, ramp this baby up let's see what she does on full power Right, turn around. Right, and full power. Thrust is not a hundred percent though. Hmm. Okay. Just trying to see what is. One five five nine nine one. So shooting up and going back down again. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's just go back. But anyways, I think this was very successful. Um, I'll see what I can do regarding um, what you've just made. The... Remember when I told you guys about the um, snapping I've heard? Oops. Regard like when I took out the boxes and then there was like a snap sound of uh, and was cables. I think it might have disconnected one of these engines. I think that is what happened. Yeah, this is not this is not great actually. I do have the cash. I can rebuy this and just take out all of these boxes and just try it again and these box thrusters and try again. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because, yeah, I mean, I can also go manually look for the break in the cable. Yeah, I think one of the two, I'll figure out. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.